beers for you today. No beers, too early. Only coffee. Too early in the morning. Yer, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we have Jerry, the coolest white guy I know. Uh, you want me to do your chant? <laughs> yeah. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. We're going to be talking about, obviously, the dirt line in the back, the Harley Davidson Pan America, um, and why this bike is the best secondary option. And I, gotta, I had to kind of retract my statement from the one we did with the, uh, with the Street Bob. Oh, it's about a secondary bike? Yeah, because uh, even after riding this bike, I'm like, this is probably the, the best secondary bike you can have. Um, and then, I, it's just, this, this is so, it suits the conversation well, because obviously, I got my road glide, you got your street glide, mm -hmm. you have other bikes, and I got other bikes in here, so, mm -hmm. obviously we can talk about this scenario pretty well. Just so FYI, tomorrow, Jerry and I are gonna be heading down South Jersey. We're gonna be taking both our Pan Americas, off-roading so there's gonna be some good stuff there's gonna be some other guys on here as well so tune in for that that video should be up over the weekend um or after this well whatever it is it'll be after this video is up but amazing amount of good content is coming on the dirt glides and um i'm like super 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 excited for that because that's what i mainly been wanting to do on that bike you guys know i've had the pan america now for two weeks now maybe i think um no, it is not mine. It is a loner. I need to go back to Bergen Harley Davidson. Shout out to Bergen Harley, by the way. Um, so they lend this bike to me for a whole month. So I'm, I get to try it out and do whatever I want with it, which is pretty great. After that, I've been spending some seat time on the bike. Um, I've noticed that this, this is kind of the only bike that I've been riding ever since I got it. I haven't been on my Road Glide. I haven't been on my Lowrider S. It's tucked in the back. It's addictive. Yeah, the sportiest sold is over there in the corner. Um, but it's it's the only bike that I've been wanting to ride. Um, your your Pan Am is what your daily rider, right? Yes. Yeah, I take it. Yeah, I commute with it to work and everything. Okay. And I, and I ride it. Yeah. So why 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 do you why do you choose to ride it more over your street glide? Well, as much as I love my street glide, my suspension on my street glide, even though I upgraded to aftermarket suspension, still sucks. But there's no comparison. The suspension on this bike is, is unbelievable. It like, is. I work, not only do we live in New Jersey where the roads aren't so great, I work Trash. in a really, really, really bad area in Newark where the, there's construction trucks and big, big uh, tractor trailers and the roads have giant potholes like it's unbelievable. One your, day your, your, your bike can film it. Yeah, your bike can fit in. <laughs> yeah. That's not bad. So taking my street glide down there is not really an option anymore because the roads have gotten so bad and they haven't fixed anything. So the suspension is unbelievable. It auto adjusts, auto leveling. You hit a bump, like you just go over. Like I, even if you, because you try to avoid the potholes obviously, but sometimes you can't. I, I honestly haven't been trying to avoid them. <laughs> I've been trying to, since I'm on I the have. bike, I, I've been trying to go on them. It, cause because of that reason, because I've been really trying to test out the suspension. And obviously the suspension on this bike is, is in like uh, an electronic suspension as well. So it'll adjust and do whatever it does automatically. You don't feel anything. It, it, it's awesome. It's a, a pothole that would take, like literally lift you off your bike on this, nothing. Yeah, nothing. it's just you a little bit. That's it, it's awesome. That, that's, what, that's one of my favorite things on there is, is that's one of the reasons why I've been riding that bike. Uh, so much is because of suspension. Like I love it. It feels great. Um, it's, it's, the, the, the center gravity it, it just feels so planted yeah. down. It's a lot lighter. It's almost half the weight. Oh yeah, it is. You're talking almost half the weight. It's 550 pounds compared to 900. Yeah, because even in the, in the even in the garage, just like moving it dead right now, it's just like it's so easy just to maneuver the bike around the garage to put it where we want it. It's just like. Compared to like this road glide right here, you can't even see it, but hey, yeah, she, she's, uh, <laughs> she's pretty heavy. And then the power, the power is unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've been keeping mine on sport mode for the most part, which, which is awesome. So you, you got riding modes on there, yeah, you know? and I love it. Tomorrow we're going to be testing out the off-road off <laughs> modes, and then you got off-road plus in yours too, right? Yes. Off-road off plus. Uh, yeah, I don't have a program to like, you know, for the, they have the dynamic, it's not like dynamic, that's the BMW. Program. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the, the fact that it has riding modes and you just take they it off work. the terrain. They work. They work really well. Yeah, because I mean, I've used the rain mode when it's been really bad and it's a huge difference. Yeah, it's it's big and it's like, it, I, I was doing a video and then I think it was a video we are doing together. We were talking about uh, the, I was doing the review and everything and we are riding side by side. And I was talking about that and how you just switch to any mode you want and it's instantly, you, mm -hmm. you feel the change. Like, 
like that. And the fact that you can change the modes while you're riding is a plus, because some bikes you can't do that. No. You gotta pull over, stop, stop, stop change, put it in sure. neutral, and then change the mode. But this, no matter what gear you're in, no matter if you're riding or not, change the gear and you're in it. Well, the nice thing is you're in road mode, like most of the time I'm in road mode, but then when I want the switch the first, when I tap the button the first time, it goes right to sport. When it goes to sport, the engine gets more aggressive and the, the, the suspension like sacks down. like. Mm -hmm. And it, it's it's just night and day. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I mean that that's all right. So you got riding modes and you got suspension and everything as well. Like it's just it's just it's a plus. very comfortable too. Really comfortable. The 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 stock seat. Believe it or not, uh, Harley Davidson made an amazing stock seat. The gel pad on there is super super nice. Uh -huh. um, how many miles have you done on one day? On on yours? Two fifty maybe. All right, so I got like three thousand miles on my bike right now. Yeah, so you so. So in that breaking mode, kind of. Yeah. I mean, two, 250, 250 miles in a day is, you know, not bad. Well, yeah. That's what I normally do on the other bike, either. I yeah. don't really, I can't do long miles. Black is your old? No, because of my diabetes. <laughs> I'm busting your chops. I changed, I have like three different seats for my street glide. And, and like I said, even with the, the, the legend yeah. suspension, it's still not nowhere near. No. With this bike, is. no, it's, it's it's really comfortable. It's comfortable. It's just like the suspension is comfortable already, and then you got a, a comfortable seat which adds on to everything else. And it's just like it's a plus, man. And then I added the bags. The bags hold more than those bags, though. Yeah. So, but it, it, it's, but it's like, so, so here's my thing. I uh, I mean, me if if I was to keep this bike, I would not be adding bags. So the simple fact that the bags on these bikes, the way it's built, they. They're, they're just too far out. 43 inches. So it's actually way wider than... About seven or eight inches uh, wider. Uh, that's a lot. Seven or eight it inches is. more than, than, uh, than the width of a, of a road glider street glide. That, that's too much. So you, it, you're not going to be lane splitting on that bike. And uh, No. It's, I mean, if you run the top box only, like right now I'm running the I top box. I would run the top box. box. I'm, I'm running the top box because my wife's going to ride on the back. Yeah. She still hasn't yet. But. I mean, I guess depending. Like, let, let's say, hey, you know what? We're going to be doing a weekend trip and we're going to be off-roading somewhere. Then and you got to load all your stuff. Then that's different because you got to put your stuff away. But as, let's say like as a daily commuter, I would not be running those bags. I was running them for a little while, but now I'm just going to run the top box. Yeah. Especially down there. Because like guys. you said, it gets tight and you got to try to get out of stuff. And you get stuff that's stuff another reason I take my bike to work because down there when it gets jammed up I can get around. Exactly. But with those bags, it's no, like impossible. No. I barely get out of my driveway with my wife's car yeah, here. <laughs> I know. To me it's just more of the comfort and power. That that's why I think is, is like the best. So I mean going back to the, the main topic, why this is such a probably the best secondary bike, honestly. It's because of all the capabilities that it has. So let, let, let's say if you have a street glide, I mean, I'm sorry, let's, yeah, a street glide or a road glide, and that's your, your, you know, your bag and you love it, but you want something to have more fun on and something that's gonna be, uh, you're gonna be able to use for multi-uses and, is that a word, multi-uses? Yeah, multi-use. Multi-use there. Yeah, you know, multi-use. Um, it's, it's, like it's the perfect bike, like for example. It's like a Swiss Army knife, a freaking. Exactly. Bike. It's, 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 that, 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 that's honestly the perfect way to put it. Today, we're, we're, we're riding on the road. Tomorrow, like we have planned, we're gonna be taking her off-road, mm -hmm. which is awesome. So it's, it's like, all right, well, I, you can't do that on a road glide. Well, you could, but... Yeah. I mean, you could, but you'd do you want to? You'd be bogan, yeah, you'd be like chopping that shit. Exactly, you, you, you don't want to do that. This has, this is set up for that. This has the capability to do everything. You can cross through a, a low, shallow river through this bike and over the sand, sand dunes and getting mud holes and everything, but it's it's meant for that. And if you want to take it all, you want to take it on the road, you take it on the road. You want to ride in the rain and not worry about anything, you can do that as well. So it's it's it has a lot. And then it has, the fact that it has all these crash bars protection around it, even if you did let your bike drop, mm -hmm. you're not really gonna be damaging your bike, which, yeah. is, which is plus, man. It's awesome. But why do you think it's like a really good secondary option? I think it's a good primary option too, but some people like are like, oh, I gotta have my dresser. Okay, so have your dresser, and then have your this bike here. This bike is like a sport bike that's raised up, like a, like you know, like everybody's like, oh yeah, sport bike, but they're uncomfortable and they're, they're but they're fast. This thing is fast, but it's not. It's very comfortable. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to worry about. I like this better. I was thinking about. I was gonna get a sport bike. You know that. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about getting a sport bike, and I'm like, why? Because I've actually ridden with guys with sport bikes, and I'm pretty much right there until they get up until 10,000 RPMs yeah. or whatever. I mean, this thing tops at 9,000 RPMs, so those other bikes don't start moving until 10, 13,000 RPMs. Yeah. So, when we're, when we're doing, when we're riding in that range, I'm right there with them. 
they only pull away when they get into it's, the higher. It's, it's a quick bike. It's very quick. Bike. It's fast. You you feel the power, especially when you put that thing on on, uh, on sport mode. Oh my god! Like it's definitely there, and it's it's at the end of the day, it's a fun bike. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, is it the most beautiful bike on the road? No. No. When it comes when when you put it up against uh, adventure bikes, and I said it even even way before the bike was even out on sale, as soon as I saw the design, I fell in love with it. I, when it comes to adventure bikes. To me, this is the most nicest looking adventure bike. But when you compare it to other bikes, like let's say, like, I'm not gonna pick that over my Road Glide because that's yeah. I love my Road Glide, and no, I love my Low Rider S. Mm -hmm. um, it's different bikes. It's, it's, it's yeah. different. Is it the most beautiful? No, it's it's something out of like an apocalypse movie. It's something that's like it's it looks angry. It looks fun. My bike is named the Dark Knight because if Batman was gonna ride a Harley, that's what he'd be riding. Would he? Yeah, he would. He might. He would. The Rev Max engine. Let's talk about that real quick. Because um, obviously you spent a lot more time on that bike. Um, mm -hmm. And even the other, the other day while I was riding on it, even though it was pretty cold out, it was in the 40s, I did feel a lot of heat. So in when it's yeah. warm out, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this bike gets really hot though. So that that's like the the thing you also got to know. When the fan kicks on, it kind of blows right on your leg. But yeah, so it it, it does run really hot, which I think they they gotta kind of work around that somehow. Um, because in the summer months, you're gonna be cooking. The cat the cat's right there, so it gets very hot. Yeah, but I'm hoping with the new exhaust when they take off the back end where the other. I don't even know what they call that bread box looking thing. Comes off, I hope, you know, I'm going to lose another 10 pounds too, I think. Yeah. But I'm hoping that like it, 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 it frees it up a little so it's not so hot. But it gets up there. You watch, because you got a temperature gauge on here. It gets into the twos and mm -hmm. it's, it's not, you know. Um, gas consumption on here, like I, I, it does really well too. And the way I ride, I don't... I mean, I, I've been riding a sport mode, but I try riding it just on like regular mode and it... It, it I mean, does, I'm getting in the high, I, though I ride very aggressive, and I'm getting in the high 30s. But well, that's because you're driving, oh, you're, you're riding driving really like aggressive, ass, but yeah. if, if you weren't like that. Oh, no, yeah. Like, it's I really, have, really I efficient. haven't really went on, like, a long t touring trip with it. Yeah. Those 250 miles I do is all sorts of stuff. I, I've, I've been, I've been mixing it up. I've been doing, like, riding the real aggressive and just, you know, just nice rides. But I feel like, you know, when, if it's for that, if you just want to chill and take a nice ride, like it's real efficient when it comes to gas and right now gas is a lot of money so yeah. you know oh it's definitely more efficient than my other two bikes so well yeah big time um at the end of the day super fun bike capabilities are endless and it's it's it's, it's just fun at the end of the day like what you really want to have for a secondary bike is a really fun bike it is yeah. what it is you know that, that that's what you really want to get out of everything um that's gonna be it anything else no i don't think we think we hit everything on the head so a lot of few more videos coming out. I'm gonna be making obviously the the off-roading videos are coming out. I got a few other ideas coming out about the bike. So anything else you really want to know about the Pan America? If you're on the market, you are interested in buying this amazing bike, then drop your thoughts and questions down below. Be uh, make sure to uh, answer them as quickly as I can. And that's be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby.